Hello, I'm Finn McCuss, Dean of the Zicklin School of Business, and I'm pleased today to introduce you to Professor Sankar Sin, who holds the Zicklin Chair in Corporate Integrity and Governance. Welcome, Sankar. Thank you. Thank you. Before we start talking about some of your very interesting research in sustainable products and consumer reactions and corporate social responsibility, I thought it might be interesting for our viewers to learn a little bit about you personally. So for example, could you tell us a little bit about your background as a child? And also, what was your first job? When did you first get a paycheck? You know, growing up in India, if you are, um, you know, if you do fairly well in your academics, you're slated for a science career, right. you know, in engineering or medicine. Yeah, yeah. And I come from a family of scientists. My father right. is a scientist, my brother is a scientist. And so naturally, you know, I thought, right. okay, I'm going to be a scientist as well or something related to that. Right. Uh, on the other hand, my mother is in the creative air field. She was a singer, she sang on the radio, so I always had a creative side to myself. One of your recent projects looked at uh, uh, the marketing and the consumer messaging related to sustainable products. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how that research developed and what were the questions you were asking? So by training I'm a consumer psychologist and uh, I did very mainstream kind of behavioral decision theory, con cognitive psychology uh, research. Uh, but over time I became interested in uh, corporate social responsibility because mm -hmm. it was a growing phenomenon in the real marketplace and also how consumers respond to products that incorporate ethical, mm -hmm. what we would call ethical attributes. And I found that very fascinating because uh, when a consumer is faced with choices that involve products with ethical attributes, mm -hmm. I think it shifts the calculus of consumer reactions to products that they consume because all of a sudden you're thinking about not just do I like this product versus do I not like mm. this product, but is this the right product to buy? You know, mm. is this the morally is it a right quote, product good to product. buy? Yes, yeah, right. the good product yeah. or the morally right. right versus wrong product to buy. And I think it really does shift the calculus mm. in terms of consumers' reactions, in terms of how they process information, what they think about, what uh, motivations come to mind. Uh, as they're trying to make the decisions. And this paper was very much in uh, that same, uh, ta mm -hmm. takes that same perspective on understanding how consumers respond mm -hmm. to appeals that marketers make in selling their sustainable product. Mm -hmm. If you give the consumer two persuasive appeals to buy your product, mm -hmm. they'll be more persuaded. But research suggests, in both from economics and psychology, that when one of those appeals has the potential to make you feel like a good person, Mm -hmm. then two appeals may not be necessarily as good as just one appeal mm -hmm. that appeals to your goodness. Mm -hmm. If as a marketer I tell you this product is good for the environment, you're going to say, well, if I buy this product, it's going to make me a good uh -huh. person. If I tell you, well, it's good for the environment and it's going to save you some money, all of a sudden I'm not so sure mm -hmm. that I'm buying this because I'm a good person uh, and buying this will make me a good person uh, because I also have a selfish motive for buying the product. Right. The other one I wanted to ask you about uh, is the one related to corporate social responsibility and negative publicity related to uh, yes. a company that uh, is recognized for CSR. Yes. Tell us the issues there. One of the key benefits of being a socially responsible, sustainable company is that consumers are more likely to forgive you when there is some sort of a crisis. Mm. That has already been shown. Mm. So research has shown that you know we are more lenient because we think this is a good company and therefore we're going to. Mm. I'm going to forgive were them. Yeah, least. they were trying. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, however, we show that it's it's not as straightforward as that. It depends on on what basis do you like the company and do you th mm. do you identify with the company. So as consumers, we often tend to identify with companies. We feel like they share our values, they mm. share, they're like us in many different ways. And that, that's a big motivator for mm. liking the company and purchasing from it. So we show that the basis of that identification, whether it's based on CSR or whether it's based on just more conventional mm. features, such as this is a company that makes high quality products, uh, uh. that will determine whether and how you respond to a crisis that is in the CSR domain. Mm -hmm. And we show that actually, if you're identified on CSR, 
then you're actually going to be more unhappy with the CSR crisis. You so feel, you feel betrayed. You feel betrayed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly the intuition. Yeah. I think what makes it a very exciting area is that it's evolving as we speak. Well, we look forward to talking to you again about the next projects. Thank you. Thank you, Sankar. Thank you very much.